All right. I'm going to go ahead and get started in just a second. I want to make sure everybody gets in. Share the screen here. All right. Get started in just a second. Okay, <laughs> you gotta bear with me. This is my first time doing a, a YouTube stream, so it's a little bit of a uh, of a learning curve on how to share it. But um, yeah, okay, okay, great. So this is um, Paternity University. Uh, this is like probably the fourth or fifth webinar I think I've done on how to make money <laughs> as a DNA testing agency owner. Let me make sure something real quick. Hold on. Give me just a second while I figure this out. All right, doing a final check. Can y'all hear me? Can everybody hear me? See, I'm live here. I'm live on YouTube. Just want to make sure y'all can hear me. Okay. All right, cool. Bear with me. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. How to make a thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars a month as a DNA agency owner? It's definitely possible. Um, it can definitely happen. Okay. So here is presentation. So who am I? Uh, my name is Royal Banks. I'm the co-owner of Assurance DNA. So that's my company, um, a nationwide paternity testing service. Right now we're in El Paso, Texas. So this is me and my wife. Picture of uh, me and my wife together. We own the business together. And I'm also the founder of Paternity University. So it's a course that'll teach you how to start your own DNA paternity testing service wherever you are, okay? I simplified the whole process, put all the information together for you. All right. So what's your why? What's your why? Why do you want to get into this business? You can type it in the chat if you're on Zoom or YouTube. Type it into the chat. You know, why do you want to get into this business? And then what will you do with an extra $1,000 to even $10,000 a month in the DNA testing business? I like to hear that. I see I got a, a Richard in here, DT, and then uh, Daisy as well is in here. What's your why? I'd love to see y'all's responses. Want to be your own boss. Daisy says she wants to be her own boss. I love it. Love it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you want to be your own boss. Yeah, 100%. You, you know, you want to have your own time back. You want to be able to go enjoy yourself wherever you are. Um, 
DT says more freedom to move around. Yeah, absolutely. Freedom. Ultimately, success, in my opinion, is time freedom. Get your time back, you know, to yourself. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. So, you know, it can be done. Yeah, more family time. Daisy says more family time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you don't, you know, you're not, I'm, I'm not downing nine to fives because I still work a nine to five. This is a business that I run on the side, um, but it's definitely possible to do both. But yes, at some point in time, I want to be free from that nine to five and to uh, build, you know, continue to build this business and have more time to myself. Okay, great. Awesome. So why the paternity testing business? Why? Why? Why paternity testing? Is it all dramatic like Mari and paternity court? You know, but why? Why the paternity testing business? Well, paternity tests are always needed. Paternity tests are always needed. They'll never go away. They won't. People are always making children and questions are always going to be not for every single person, but in general, people are always going to have questions about whether that child is theirs or if that's their father or if that man is the father of that child. It's always needed. It'll never go away as long as people exist. And it's not hard to stand out from the competition. Now, I'll discuss that in the next few slides. But when you start your own DNA agency, it's not hard to stand out from the competition. Okay. It's scalable. It is scalable. That means you can you can build the business and you can grow it. And you don't have to have hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in you know, private equity or venture capital or anything like that. You don't need that. You can scale it. You know, you start with a shoestring budget of building your own business and then you can grow it. It's definitely possible. You can make, this is a big one right here. You can make $200 to $1,800 per test. It's possible. Yes. I made $420 this morning from a DNA test. Um, and I didn't even, I don't even see the client. The client is going to test in a couple of hours and I just coordinated the whole test. Okay. Just coordinated the whole thing. Um, and I, I will discuss that a little bit in the rest of these slides. And then in the course, of course, I, I talk about that. And then you can run your business from anywhere. You don't have to be in the city that you're in to run it. You don't have to. No, you can. Yeah. But you don't have to. I did a, I did a paternity test when I was on my honeymoon in the Bahamas. I didn't have to fly back to Texas or fly to New Jersey to make that happen. No, I just did the test. Is the 1800 after fee? No, that's revenue. That's revenue. So after fees, it'll be about $500. But that is you essentially sending an email and mail. you're not even seeing it. For that specific test, you're not even seeing that individual. Okay. So good question, DT. That's revenue. Okay, so what is DNA paternity testing? So paternity testing, it determines a relationship between an alleged father and a child. So paternity, paternal, pater, that is uh, the root word for father, okay? Paternity testing. And then there's other types of relationship testing, like grandparent testing, siblingship, or avuncular. The word uncle is an avuncular. You can test an aunt or an uncle as well to determine a relationship through an alleged father. The alleged father is deceased or not available to test or doesn't want to test. Okay. That's, um, that's paternity testing. So you, you have your stand, you know, when you think of D, when people think of DNA testing, people normally think of ancestry.com or 23andMe, that's like gene genealogical history testing. And you can find who your relatives are in that, but that's more so of where do I come from? You know, where do my ancestors come from? That's what that is. But paternity relationship testing is determining who a father is, all right? So here's a, here's a, a fact, um, and I've seen it kind of on my own, um, doing my own DNA testing, but one in three men who get a paternity test are not the father. One in three men who get a paternity test, not, that's the source right there. 30% of men who get a paternity test are not the father. Okay, think about that. It, I've seen it in my experience, I would say it's about mm, one in four, one in four. And, and more than half the time, they're kind of, they're kind of expect that anyway. Um, but that, that's generally what that is. Uh, one in three men who get a paternity test are not the father. So 
you know, you're, you're essentially helping to provide those answers. That's what you're doing. Okay. Why do people get DNA tests? Why do people get paternity tests? There's reasons why. There's two reasons why. Two reasons why. One is peace of mind. And the other is legal reasons. And legal reasons also provide peace of mind too, because you provide the answer, but there's two reasons. So peace of mind is you just want to, they just want to know. They just want to know. They don't want to use the results for any legal or court purposes because in certain states or in most states, if you are uh, an unmarried man uh, and you have a child with a woman, you either can sign something called a voluntary acknowledgement of paternity at the hospital, at the baby's born and say, yep, I'm the father. I'm the father. And, and you signing that paperwork and getting on that birth ticket certificate means that you are the legal father of that child, meaning that you are now legally responsible for raising that child. That's the most basic form of establishing paternity. Okay. The other ways to do it is if you have any doubts or the man has any doubts or the, even the woman has doubts, you can get a paternity test. And that paternity test can determine legally if you are the father. Uh, it'll, it'll show if there's a biological relationship and you can use those results for legal purposes, such as child custody, child support, inheritance, immigration, social security benefits. You can use it for any type of legal purpose. Uh, so there's two different types of tests that you can offer, informational or peace of mind and legal or chain of custody testing. You'll be using for legal reasons. Okay. Has anybody ever known somebody that has dealt with that before, like paternity testing for legal reasons? Or has anybody ever known, like anybody had a relative or a cousin or a friend that dealt with um, a paternity issue? Looks like Keith, you raised your hand. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's it happens more, more often than not. Um, just a little history. You know, my mom, she's owned a paternity testing company for 20 years. And the reason why she got into the business is because her brother dealt with something, a paternity related issue. Um, and, and it's a real thing, you know, when you, you know, with certain states, once you sign that birth certificate and sign that voluntary acknowledgement of attorney, that's it. You're the legal father. And it's very hard to change, uh, change that. Oh, Keith. Wow. Keith. Yeah. You said you had to go through the process yourself. Yeah. It's, it's difficult. It's difficult. And, to try to change things up or try to get your name off the birth certificate, a, a paternity test is the most, it's the basic level thing to do. That's the basic level thing to do is to get a paternity test and then you have to go through the court and, oh, it's the whole situation. <laughs> and I'm not a lawyer, by the way, I preface that. I'm not a lawyer. I'm, I just own the DNA agency, all right? So that's the reason why people get them. That's the reason why people get them, okay? So uh, this, this, this webinar and this course uh, is about, being a DNA agency owner. That's what that is. But you can also be a collector, a DNA collector. And what's the difference between the two? So an agency owner is somebody who own, you own your own DNA testing business. Now you're not a laboratory. You know, you don't have to buy millions of dollars worth of laboratory equipment or hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of laboratory equipment and get a building and get accredited and all that. You don't have to do that. You're just the middleman. You're, you're, the, you're the individual between the client who needs a test and the laboratory, okay? You actually do the swabbing or you outsource the swabbing. You send it to the lab, lab test it, lab charges you a fee. You give the results to the client. That's what you are, okay? That's an agency owner. Now, a collector is somebody who works with an agency or works for a DNA agency. And uh, the DNA agency says, hey, I got a test for you. It's at this date at this time with this individual, they're gonna come in the office, you're gonna swab them and you send off the results and I'll pay you $25 or $50 or $100. That's what a collector is. They kind of work for or work with people. They're, they're, they're waiting for somebody to contact them to do a paternity test or to, yeah, to, to collect. DNA for a paternity test. They're waiting. DNA agency owners, we go seek it out. We advertise. We, we, we get our name out there. That's what DNA agency owner. You're the business owner. A collector in a way is like an independent contractor. Okay. So that's the difference. And I know I have an ebook about being a collector. That's a, yeah, that's a collector. If you want to do that, that's fine. That's good for someone who doesn't, 
really want to start a full business yet and you just want to get exposed to the industry, that's cool. That's fine. But if you want to be an agency owner, that's for you. You are owning your business. You're owning everything and there's no limit on your business income. Laboratories don't contact you and say, hey, you're doing way too many DNA tests and you're paying us way too much money to, to, to run the sample. So you need to stop. No, there's no limit. You can earn $1,000 a month if you want. You know, if you're halfway trying, uh, 2,000, 5,000, 10, I had a $10,000 a month last month. You know, it's definitely possible. Okay. Okay. So what do you need to start a DNA agency? What do you need? The basic, basic, basic things you need to actually start and get going is a name to start a name. Okay. Hmm. I'm drinking my tea here. A name. So pick something, probably something easily findable, easily Googleable. Okay. Uh, you can name, you can name it what I, I name my company Assurance DNA. You know, that's my brand. That's fine. I got a couple of the students, you know, Clarity DNA, Big Easy DNA, um, Peace of Mind DNA Services. That's fine. That's cool. Um, or you could have something like I like I have here, Austin Paternity Testing Services, the Dallas Paternity Testing Service. Um you know, uh, yeah, greater, greater lakes, DNA testing, whatever, whatever you just pick a name, you know, you don't have to rack your brain on it and, you know, hire a branding agency to do it. Just pick something easy. Okay. All right. You want to incorporate your business. So check with your state secretary of state website for more information on that. I'm not going to tell you to get an LLC or a C core or S core, or if you want to just do, you know, sole proprietor, whatever, that's your choice, but incorporate your business, you know, set up a different business entity from yourself. All right. Get your EIN, your employer identification number. That's your your business's social security number, essentially. Um, get that from the IRS.gov website and then set up your business bank account. That's like just setting up your entity. OK, that's that's that part. All right. Now, if you have any questions about taxes and stuff like that, please contact an attorney on that. I am not I will not give you advice on that. OK, now what else do you need? Buy your domain name. Buy your website name. What is, what is it going to be? Is it going to be sacramentalpaternitytesting.com? Something? Buy that. Buy it. You got GoDaddy. You got Squarespace. You got Google Sites. You got all types of places where you can buy your domain name. Okay? Buy your domain name. Set up your professional email. So you don't want to be, um, you know, Richard Rembert at DNA testing gmail.com. No, you want to be whatever your company name is at you know, or, or you want to be, you know, like I said, service at so-and-so DNA testing.com or, you know, info at so-and-so testing.com. That's your professional email. You can do that through G Suite, Google G Suite. Okay. Or you can do that through Squarespace as well. I do that through Squarespace. Set up your Google voice or a separate business phone line. You want to be professional. You don't want to have your personal phone uh, be your DNA testing phone too, because you don't know who's going to be calling you and you don't want to answer like, hello, what's up? No, you want to know when people are calling specifically for DNA testing. So you want to have a separate line, either Google Voice or uh, and you download the app on your phone and when people call Google Voice, it, it opens up that app or a completely separate business phone line or a separate personal phone line or something like that, right? You call, when people call that phone number, they another phone rings, I have a separate phone and I know for a fact they're calling for DNA testing, okay? Now, do your research on the labs to partner with. That's all in the course. Oh, and what labs there are available to partner with, okay? You're going to contact that lab and apply to be a distributor or a reseller. That's in the course on how to do that. And then you're going to sign the lab partnership contract if they offer a contract, okay? Uh, all that's in the course. Uh, I, I put all that information in there. It's really good. And we've had students that, you know, get, get their partnerships within a week or two, okay? Get your logo from Fiverr. Hey, look, I say this all the time. Don't don't spend, don't wait eight months, nine, 10, 12 months trying to do a logo. It, it's not that serious. It's not. I mean, logo is cool. It's part of your branding, but you, you, it's not something that takes that long. It's a couple of days. Get a logo um, and, 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 and make it happen. OK, this is really important. Set up your Google My Business account. So Google My Business is whenever you Google stuff. Um, you, you know, whenever you are looking at stuff on Google, you know, restaurant near me or, uh, Mexican, Mexican restaurant near me or whatever on Google, you see those little, the little red, uh, pinpoints that pop up on your Google on like either Google maps or your Google search. 
that's what Google My Business, those businesses are on Google My Business, okay? Or Google Business Profile, whatever it's called now, okay? That's critically important because people really generally aren't looking for DNA testing or paternity testing services on Facebook or Instagram. They're not really looking for that stuff there. They're, they're looking on Google or any other search engine. That's what they're looking at, okay? So you want to be there. You want you want to get in front of them. Google My Business or Google Business uh, page is how you get on Google as a business. And it's a way, it's a it's an art and a science to it. Google is pretty temperamental uh, of getting people verified and getting their business verified, but it can be done. And that's how you do it. I've had a, a student who was working on setting up her Google My Business profile. I like got our business set up, everything, like website, all that stuff. You have all that stuff set up. That's great, but it's going to be hard to, for people to find you unless you're on Google. The day she got on Google was the day she got a phone call. People, they just Google, they just Google paternity testing near me and whatever pulls up first or whatever, something, <laughs> they pull you up, they see your phone, they, they call you. That's it. That's how it is. It's not, it's really not that difficult. All right. So you want to get that set up your ads account too. You set up a Google ads account, link it to your Google, my business. And that's how you push out ads. And that's how you supercharge and really get your, your business to the top of the Google page. And then for payments, Set up your Square, Stripe, or QuickBooks account. I, you know, I personally, personally, I don't like PayPal like that uh, because PayPal likes to freeze people's funds. So I personally don't like that. I love Square. Square appointments is great. Okay, but you want to set up how, how are you going to get paid? How are you going to pay? How are you going to send invoices? Square, Stripe, QuickBooks. You can do that all in there. Okay. All right. Does anybody have any questions while I while I go through this? Am I am I going too fast? Nope, no questions, Daisy. Okay, cool. Okay, Keith, you're taking the way to the end. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. I'm almost done. Okay. So um, research in the competition. There, there's other DNA testing companies in your city. All right, wherever you decide to start. There's other ones. Yes, there are, but they're not going to do as well as you are. All right. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna outperform them. And here's how. Here's how you do your market research. Call them up, search paternity testing service near me on Google. Paternity testing, DNA testing, right? Call them up. Do, do they answer the phone? Start off with, do they answer? All right. What tone did they use when they, when they spoke to you? Was it, was it, thanks for calling the Sharon's DNA. This is Royal speaking. How may I help you? Or was it, hello? What, 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 you know, what, how professional were they? How many Google reviews do they have or, or Yelp or whatever? Bing, whatever. How many, how many reviews do they have? How many stars do they have? Do they have written reviews? Do they offer mobile services? Ask them, hey, uh, do y'all have a collector? You know, I, I really don't like going, going into offices or anything like that. Do y'all have a collector that y'all can send me or do y'all only have a building that I can go to? Just ask. Some places offer mobile services. Some places, some places don't. Are they open on weekends? I would say most DNA testing companies are no, closed on the weekends. So you can beat a lot of them just by being open on Saturday or being open on Saturday or at least answering the phone on Saturday to set up a test for them on Monday. At the very least, you can still do testing on. I've done testing, you know, <laughs> a mobile test in a FedEx parking lot, two tests back to back, make seven hundred dollars in 30 minutes, you know, doing a doing a mobile weekend test because nobody else is open. All right. Got to ask what lab are they using? Is the lab AABB accredited? That's a big one too. Ask them, hey, uh, I want to use these results for legal purposes. So is the lab that is going to test the samples, are y'all an accredited American Association of Blood Banks lab? They're going to be like, oh my, who is this guy <laughs> or, or a woman calling me? Damn. Okay. Uh, what are their prices? What are their prices? You want to ask that too. What are their prices? How much... Excuse me. Uh, my name is John. I'm I'm calling because oh man, I need a DNA test. Um, I just need one. It's for me and and uh, the kid. Just just one of just me and the kid. That's all. Okay, sir. Well, you know the price is going to be three hundred and ninety five dollars plus tax or something like that. Ask them. Ask them their prices. The reason why is because every city, every area that you're in, every region, their their DNA prices kind of vary. Okay, and I'm going to go into that next next slide or so uh, of, of prices and how much people generally pay for a DNA test, all right? 
Uh, I'm going to go into that in a second. And how fast can they get results? That's another one too. How fast can they get results? Excuse me, um, how long is it going to take to get my results? Two to three business days, four to five, six to seven, how fast? That's all stuff you want to write down and figure out how you're going to, how you're going to compete with that. All right. If they suck, it's easy. If they're really, really good, now a lot of them are really, really good, you're going to have a little bit more of a, it's going to be more of a challenge, but it won't be impossible. All right. Okay. Money. Here you go. The money. This is it. This is what y'all, what y'all, what y'all dialed in for how to make a thousand to ten thousand dollars a month. All right. How much can I charge for a DNA test? It depends on the service you're offering in your area. Now, uh, with the lab that I'm partnered with, I can offer all these different types of paternity tests. This is it right here, all the relationship tests. And there's a, there's a few more. That These are different sources of income within your DNA testing business, okay? So a standard legal paternity test, like I said, the ones that people can use for court for court purposes, all right? That's between three to $500, all right? Informational, that's just a kit that they either pick up from you or you send to them in the mail. That's for them just wanting to know. That's 200, 250. Now, has anybody ever seen has anybody ever gone to CVS or, or Walgreens and seen a paternity testing kit in CVS or Walgreens? Let me know. Let me know. No, you haven't. Okay, dude. Okay, got it. Let me know. Um, you can go, uh, somebody can go into Walgreens or CVS and go get a paternity test for like $20. But what happens is when they submit the samples and send it in, the lab will say, okay, in order to access your results, you have to pay a fee of $200, right? So you might as well just charge the person that, you might as well just charge them all that money up front. Just say, hey, there's no hidden fees. So it's 200 bucks or 250, whatever, okay? Non-invasive prenatal, non-invasive prenatal. What is that? What is non-invasive and why is it so, I'm, wow, why, why, do you, why do you charge that much for that, bro? Well, a non-invasive prenatal paternity test is when a woman is pregnant and wants to find out who the father is. When a woman is pregnant and wants to find out who the father is, and it's non-invasive because uh, the invasive version, amniocentesis or chorionic villus sampling, they normally do that. OBGs normally, OBGYNs normally do that when they want to test to see if a child may have birth defects or Down syndrome. So uh, amniocent, they don't, they don't normally do invasive specifically for paternity testing, but they can. OK, so invasive is when uh, an OBGYN will stick a thick gaze needle into the woman's navel to connect to collect amniotic fluid or a catheter into the cervix to uh, get that um, uh, get DNA samples from there as well from the placenta. OK, that's the invasive method. And a lot of people is cheaper. Yeah, it's a little bit cheaper to do a little bit. Uh, but a lot of people, they don't they don't like they don't like the idea of that. That, that doesn't sound very comfortable. So the non-invasive prenatal is just a blood draw from the mom's arm, uh, two, two tubes of, of blood, uh, depending on what lab, two tubes or uh, 10 tubes of blood uh, from the mother's arm and a mouth swab from the alleged father. And it costs that much because the lab uh, charges you a little bit of a higher fee because it takes, it's a, it's a more advanced process to separate fetal DNA from the mother's DNA from her blood. So it takes a little bit longer, uh, about three to seven business days or so, um, or 21 business days, depending on what lab you're using. And uh, it just costs a little bit more. So you charge twelve to $1,800 for that. And the lab would charge you between $850 and $1,200 for that. So you do, the, you know, do the math on that, all right? You can average between mm, four to 500 ish show dollars, okay, for that test. And that I'm going to go, I go into that, into the course. I have a whole module on how to do a non-invasive prenatal because you're not going to do it. You coordinate that, but that's in the course. Okay. Sibling shit. People want to sometimes find out uh, if they're related through their father, you know, through, through an alleged father or the father might not be available or deceased, but there were two kids from him allegedly. So they want to, they test each other. Okay. Test each other to determine if there is a common, you know, paternal relationship between the two. Grandparentage, same thing. Dad's not available or unwilling to test or deceased. You can test the grandparents on his, on his side, see if there is a relationship. Deceased, 
I'm working on a deceased case right now where an individual is deceased. Uh, his mom wants to test uh, to see if his father is his father, but his father's not available. So I'm testing the grandparents. And I, I am not, you know, taking samples from a deceased individual. I'm just coordinating with the county coroner's office and they're working on uh, sending, uh, an, it's called an FTA card or a blood sample to the laboratory for testing. And I coordinate the other half, the other half of it. Okay. That's what that is. You know, you don't, you, you, you don't, you normally won't be swabbing or taking samples from deceased individuals unless you choose to, unless they're like, you know, recently deceased. So infidelity testing and discrete testing. That's, that's, you know, people test for, uh, is my person, there, I, there's a semen sample here. I want to test to see if that semen sample belongs to me. Okay. And discrete testing. People test hair and nails too. Those are all the different ways you can make money uh, in the DNA testing business. Okay. It's plenty. And there's, there's a, like twin zygosity and, um, you know, you could do ancestry tests as well. I honestly don't try to compete with ancestry and 23 and me. I don't, but I can, I can, I can offer ancestry tests as well. Uh, this is definitely possible. Okay. All right, here's some testimonials. Here are some testimonials from some of my students. This is from the private Slack channel. So the dope thing about Paternity University is that we have a private Slack channel and we have students there that talk about like their wins, okay? So Adonis, he was the first Paternity University student. Great. Um, it says today uh, has ended and I did two appointments, which is $800 booked from the other day. Okay, so his folks book and they pay at the test, $800, okay, in one day. And then he booked one prenatal for Saturday and another avuncular test for tomorrow. So this was, uh, this was a couple of weeks ago. I think he did, he ended up doing a little under $5,000 for the month of December to 2021. And then for the first week or first week of January, he did $4,800 in one week, grow, you know, in sales. All right, three prenatals and a regular paternity test. Definitely possible. Dequaria, another superstar student. All right, um, set her business up, took massive action, followed the blueprint, asked me a bunch of questions, which I do not mind at all. I don't, know, I don't, I don't mind people asking me questions. And she got her first client. You know, it took me for my first legal DNA test, for my first court admissible, it took me like five months to do that to get my first court admissible paternity test, five months. It took her three weeks because the course outlines everything, it, all my mistakes, <laughs> it's in there. Like you see, okay, this is what not to do. This is what to do. This is what not to do. Okay. So she made $350. Okay. Uh, from her first test. So, you know, these, these are, these are, these are real people in the, in the course. So here's the most important aspect of starting this business. Take action, take action, take action, take action. You know, um, Take action. Of course, you know, those other, other aspects too is empathy, confidentiality. Those things definitely matter for sure. Emotional intelligence, because you'll be dealing with people sometimes who some of the worst moments of their lives are very stressful moments. You know, trust has been broken. But if you want to start this business, taking action is extremely important. You have to take action. You can't, you can't, you know, you can't sit on sit on the information for eight months and expect something to happen. No, you got you got to take action. It's really not that difficult. It's not. It's really not. It takes less than 500 bucks to start a DNA testing company. Honestly, it really doesn't take that much money. Heck, the labs, they send you the DNA testing kits for free up front. They don't, they don't charge you up front for them. So you're not paying a bunch of money up front for a box of DNA testing kit. They send it to you. They charge you on the back end when you send the samples in. Okay? It doesn't take that much to start it. Less than 500 bucks. Probably less than 400, you know, depending on how much it is for an LLC in your state. Or whatever. All right. So questions, 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 questions. Ask me all the questions you want. All the questions you want. Feel free to ask them in the YouTube chat. Feel free to ask them in the Zoom chat. Questions, questions, questions. Let's go. Let's do it. Did I start in California? No. I I started my business in Georgia. And since I'm military, I moved all over the place. So I am now in Texas. I am now in Texas. Where did my mom have? In Georgia, in Atlanta. That's where she has her business. She still operates it. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, she still operates it. Yep. Yep. My LLC is in Texas. I'm a foreign entity in Texas. So, you know, certain states, like I said, please speak to an attorney, but when you move around and operate businesses are different, you have to you have to register as a foreign entity. So I started my my LLC in Georgia. Um, where if any, if is there a saturated market? There is a lot of DNA testing companies in Houston. And there's there's a good amount in Atlanta. But I will say this. Just because there are a lot of DNA testing companies doesn't mean that they're good. And like I said, you set yourself apart because, yeah, there may be 10 in, in, in Dallas, but all 10 don't answer their phone all the time or all 10 are not open on weekends. All 10 don't offer mobile services. You know, you just set yourself apart. You know, we have a couple of we have students all over the place and they're they're getting some of their first clients. It's really just being professional. And then aside from that, Keith, that's a good question is, yeah, there may be some saturated markets, but some markets outside of those saturated markets are not catered to at all. So if you push out a little bit further, like you advertise a little bit further out in those markets, you know, if you're in a main city like Houston, so if you're in Atlanta, if you push out a little bit further, then you may be able to get clients. But like I said, there are what, uh, what, 2 million, 3 million people in the greater Atlanta metro area, 2 million people, you know, not every single DNA testing company is getting every single one of those people. Yeah, that's fine. Outside the perimeter. Yeah, so that's okay. That's fine. If you're in the greater Atlanta metro area, there's 3 million people there. You know, do a, do a thousand, do a thousand uh, DNA tests a year, you know, you can make on average probably about half a million dollars. Okay. Uh, so Keith, you're asking, can you share your marketing budget or range? Yeah. So right now, uh, my marketing budget right now, I pay $375 a month for bus stop bench ads. That's just raising awareness. I have a marketing campaign specifically for prenatal testing going for $750 a month. Okay. And, uh, I have another ad campaign for $300 a month. So what's that about $1,300 right now? That's just me though, all right? Now, a couple of our students haven't even started marketing at all or have barely, they're, they, they, they're doing 300 bucks a month on Google ads right now and they're making you know four or $5,000 a month. So that's a pretty good return on ad spend if you think about it. A couple of them don't even market at all. It's because they're in a certain area where they're just not really DNA testing company and they just automatically get the searches. You know, it just depends. Um, what's the difference? DT says, what's the difference between a $1,000 student and a $10,000 student? Um, how, how much action they take, like what they you know, they take, do they take this business serious? You know, this is not something that you just set it and forget it. And it's just a completely passive business when you just start it. No, like what's your processes? How do you, how do you get in front of people? You know, who do you have answering the phone? Can you answer, can you answer phone calls? You know, that's a big thing right there. That's a big difference right there. Um, how serious are you taking this business? How serious are you taking this business? And is 10 paternity testing businesses in a major city saturated? Like I said, uh, 10 of them, all 10 of them may not answer the phone all the time. You know, all 10 of them may not be mobile. All 10 of them may not be open on weekends. That's how you set yourself apart. So that's that's what you do. So what's your advice to people in California? I have, a, I, have, I have a student in California. That's the one who got her first $350 uh, DNA test the other day. So it's just start and go. Start and go. Now, New York City is weird. New York City is the only, New York State is the only state in the country where an individual needs, uh, if they want to get a paternity test, they have to get a doctor's note. And they also, New York State doesn't allow for people to, companies to sell informational paternity testing kits within the boundaries of that state. So do with that information as you will. All right. Do you need or when do you need an office? Um, so what I do is I have um, like a virtual office um, and I rent a space. I rent an office space whenever I need to do a paternity test 
Like if somebody wants to come to the office and do a paternity test in person, then I will rent a space for an hour and it's $24. So I don't, I don't have a month to month. That's how I keep my expenses low. And that's how I can divert those expenses to advertising is I don't really need an office. You can, you can rent a co-working space if you want to. That's fine. So that's like, yeah, you said, gotcha. I would have, or will do the same. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to get an office. You don't, you don't need to. Um, especially if you're outsourcing a lot of tests, you outsource that stuff and they go somewhere else to do the test. Like I said, I outsourced a test from my bed this morning. It made $400. <laughs> I'll send an email, answer the phone call, send an email and call the, the, the coordinates, the collection facility. And I did that from my bed and made $400. All right. Um, great. Any other questions? Yeah. Can I send the link for the uh, course? Yeah. It's uh, paternityuniversity.com. I'm going to put it in the Zoom real quick. Paternityuniversity.com. This is in the, in the Zoom right there. Boom. Paternityuniversity.com. So it's, the course is $97. Look, once you, you know, you get the course, you, you, you get access to the Slack channel. You got a bunch of other people that are, have either went ahead and started their DNA testing agencies and got their first client, or they're in the process of setting everything up. We cheer each other on. We help each other out. I'm always in there. I answer questions all the time. You can direct message me. You can ask any question you want. Just holler at me. You know, I got you. And then you got other students in there. Like I said, Adonis. Jaquaria, a couple other students in there that are setting their stuff up and they're starting to get their first clients all over the country, all over the country. So paternity, university, I'll put that in the show in the in the in the YouTube channel show notes as well. Um, paternityuniversity.com. Solid invest, $97, but you get your first DNA test, you're gonna like three to four X that automatically. Um can I plug Hive Mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Hive Mind. I know the guys at Hive Mind. Yeah. Uh huh. They do websites, all that stuff. Yeah, they, they do. They have a whole CRM and everything. Hive Mind's pretty cool. Yeah. De check out the Hive Mind guys if you guys haven't already. Um, yeah. Shout out to them for sure. Um, okay. Cool. Does anybody else have any other questions before I end it? I appreciate y'all. You know, coming on to the to the webinar. Um, thank you, Keith. I appreciate that. Thank you. This, this was awesome. I love talking about this stuff and, and teaching this stuff on webinars, man. It, it means a lot to me for you guys to dial in. You'll be hearing from me. Okay, cool. Yeah, looking forward to it, Keith. Looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Okay. If I don't get any other questions, I'm going to go ahead and do I go? Yeah, I go over how to market DT. I do. Yes. And I am military, Keith. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm a full time. Army officer. So yes, I am military. So you know how it is about SOPs and all that stuff. I transfer all that stuff to my business and that's why, you know, I've been doing pretty well. Staff Sergeant, all right, E6, man. All right, sorry. Thank you for, thank you for your service. You know, appreciate that. Um, and yeah, and, and you can, you can do this business at, in, in the army. Um, thank you, DT. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it. Uh, thank you, Daisy. I appreciate it. Thank you. I, I try. I try to be a good speaker. <laughs> um, if I don't, if I don't get any other questions for the next couple of seconds, I'm going to go ahead and end it. Uh, paternityuniversity.com. Paternityuniversity.com is where you can get it. Get in that Slack channel. We got all types of folks in there to, to talk to you, to help you out. I'm here. I'm always there. I monitor the whole chat all the time. You can DM me, ask me any question you want. Okay. All right. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Y'all have a phenomenal day.